The world's on fire, so I need snacks. <laughs> hey, what's up, my peeps? And welcome back to Ireland Tries the Internet. This week's been stressful. And if you're wondering why, I live in America. And that's, that's it. <laughs> so, let's quell. Let's get rid of some of that stress that... I and a lot of people are feeling and let's just shove some food in my face instead. So this week I'm gonna open and unbox and taste uh, my Tokyo Treat subscription box. This is the premium box. Um, I will put the price here uh, for how much it is per month. I think I have the six month package. So this will be per month if you buy the six month package. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I have opened it, but that's because I wanted to get the drink out so I could put it in the fridge. Because it comes with a drink. That's a plus for me. All right, so let's open her up. I like how big it is. It makes me feel like I'm getting a lot for what I for what I paid for it. So just um, for comparison purposes, I do have a boxy box subscription box. <laughs> Uh, boxes in there but um this is a different one and as far as i've had it because i've had boxy for about three or four months now i think and this is my second box of this one but my first box i enjoyed subjectively uh more than the boxy boxes that i've gotten so let's get into it and then i'll see if i continue that feeling um at the end so stick to the end to see if this is better than boxy or if it's just different um and then it's also personal preference so yeah so just like boxy you get well not just like boxy but similar to boxy you get a uh little pamphlet that tells you what the theme is in this case it's autumn because it's november um and then you get a little thank you you get a bunch of papers <laughs> Uh, they put you in a lucky box drawing every every month, um, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of like a lottery system, so I'm never going to win. But like, I like the idea of being in a lottery system. Um, and then it lays out all the snacks and tells you what they are. And so here's the classic snack. So if you get the classic box, this is what it comes with. Because I have the premium box, I get these snacks as well. Uh, premium box, you usually get Kit Kats. Um, at least as, as far as I've seen, you get a huge bag of Kit Kats, you get a drink, and then you get three other specialty snacks. Um, I like these ones because they're a little bit more mainstream, um, but I guess that means they're a little less traditional than the boxy box snacks. But let's jump right into it. Um, let's start with the drink, because I'm probably going to be thirsty eating a bunch of salty snacks. So let's get drinking. So this box of box came with a Dido um, X Demon Slayer Sweet Coffee. Demon Slayer is a anime, if you don't know. Um, I've seen, I think, one episode. I haven't watched it. Um, so, I mean, comment down below if you think it's something I should watch. <laughs> I'm kind of picky sometimes, but I'll, I'll basically watch mostly everything. But anyways, anime theme. I like that because I'm a nerd, so I might keep the can. <laughs> Also, because I'm a hoarder. Okay, so, oh shoot, I forgot introductions. Again, this is the second week. Um, hello to he hello, hello to hello, hello, hello uh, to all those new people out there. If you like me, click the subscribe down below and turn on the bell icon because I upload a video every Friday or Saturday depending on if I'm busy and if the timeline works out. Because last week I wanted to do a Halloween one on Halloween, so sometimes it works like that. So it helps to get notified. Uh, and then to all my returning subscribers, don't know why I was holding up the can right there. Uh, hello, hello, great to see you again. If you want that extra greeting, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> uh, anyways, coffee. This is coffee, canned coffee. I know Japanese canned coffee is like a big thing over there. As far as I'd seen when I visited Okinawa, there was like a vending machine on every corner that had canned coffee most of the time. So I've never had canned coffee. I'm not a coffee person, as I've mentioned in my previous videos. I'm not a coffee nor a tea person unless it's boba tea, in which case I love boba tea. <laughs> but this is coffee, so we'll see if I like it. 
So here we go. ASMR for you probably. God, I can't open it. Oh, I was expecting a pop. Uh, but yeah, I opened it so that I could put this in the fridge. I don't know if it was special in the fridge. Let me know down below if I was, because I know some, my dad explained that some of the canned coffees are hot canned coffee, which astounds me um, in and of itself. The fact that you could have a coffee thing that's canned and it's hot. I mean, I don't drink coffee, but like that sounds wonderful. Um, just in general, can you imagine like hot chocolate in a can? I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting excited over nothing. <laughs> But anyways, uh, canned coffee, so I put it in the fridge because I like cold drinks and I, I'm i going to assume it's probably like iced coffee. Oh my, it smells like coffee coffee. This smells like uh, you're in a work room and the coffee is just been poured into the pot. It smells like that. Alright, here we go. I'm not a coffee person, so don't judge me. bad i mean it's not good i don't like coffee <laughs> so i'm not an expert on this but it's actually pretty good i mean i'm also tired from the week going on so like that caffeine is nice that i'm assuming is in here because i can't read japanese but i'm assuming it's caffeinated it feels good <laughs> it's kind of tastes like it's kind of like water and then there's like a little bit of sweet and then you get the coffee flavor. So the kind of coffee that I drink is like a caramel frappuccino. And most of the time I have it cream based anyways. So it's not even usually having coffee, but when it does have coffee, cause I'm too anxious to say, please do cream base. Um, it tastes kind of like this plus caramel. So I wonder what would happen if I added caramel into this, if it would be good. I feel like that would be really good. But subjectively, since I'm not a coffee person, I feel like this is good. I'll probably drink this throughout the rest of it just to get me through the rest of my day. So, thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We'll go, we'll just grab from the top. Because there's a lot of snacks in here. Just a lot. I also like how it's like nicely, like, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. So like this is very pleasing to me. <laughs> So I just see it so perfectly compacted. That's just me. That's just me and my nerd perfectionist things. We're going to ignore that reference. Um, okay. Woo. These are little french fries. So what are these? These are um, Aji curry chips. So Japanese curry french fry chips. Love chips. I'm okay with curry flavor. I mean, I've, I've covered that in my other videos, but... Smells like curry. So that's a good sign. Well, these are good. They're like thick potato. I mean, it tastes really like, similar to curry. Like, it's a really good curry flavor. Like, it's mild. And then you get potato. And I know potatoes like common in Japanese curry as far as I know. So that's also a pretty neat idea. So, ranking. 8 out of 10. They're a little dry. But that's my only criticism. <laughs> okay, we got big bag of chips. So these are Kalbi um, Katage plum and bonito flavor. Ooh. I'm assuming this is plum and this is bonito flakes. All right, initial chip impressions. Oh, it smells good, but I like chips. We know this. I'm a chip stan. Any chip. Give me them chips. <laughs> All right, here we go. Wow, that's a roller coaster. Okay, so they're like kettle chips, I think. Cause they're like really crunchy, crunchier than normal chips. So I'm assuming they're kettle. Does it say? It says thick cut, slow frying. So I'm guessing that's kind of kind of kettle. I've never had slow fried chip before. Interesting. Um, immediate plum flavor. And then it's pickled plum. So you get that like pickled flavor, like the little brininess of it. And then you get like a little salt at the end. It's a, it's a, it's a lot. <laughs> so the first bite's like pow. 
And then the second bite's like, boop. <laughs> um, that's a official description, of course. Um, let's see, I gave the other one eight. This one's probably a nine. These are better. Next snack. All right. Just for reference, I think there's about 17 uh, snacks in this box. Five bonus snacks for the premium box. So just for reference. Um, all right. I don't think I've gotten into premium aside from the drink yet. So let's see. We got this one. This one's a premium. So sweet potato osatsu crackers. Sweet potato crackers. All right. Something about Japanese ship bags are just so hard for me to open. Ooh, they're so small and cute. They remind me of like the veggie, the veggie straws, veggie straws. Smell like sweet potato. Whoa. Whoa. Those are, that's a lot. Okay. Huge sweet potato flavor. And then there's like salt at the end. It's so weird. It's like super sweet, like super duper, lots of sugar. And then salt at the end. So ranking on these, I'd say probably like a six and a half or seven. Because they're just really sweet for me. Like I like sweets, but these are just like a little too sweet for me. But they're still good and I'm still going to eat them, of course. Because no food waste is important, people. Next I got... Onion taro. It's cute because it's got little onion people on it. Adorable. I love the packaging. It's always just so cute. Here we go. This one needs scissors. Minus one point for needing scissors to open. <laughs> Might just be me and my weak body. Okay. Ooh, these are good. These are really good. I like these. I think it's because I like really salty things. But these are 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, these guys. You got onion dust on top of a potato, or not potato, corn puff. So it's like a hot Cheeto puff, but like puff it with more air. And then more air until it can take almost no more air. And, it's, and then you get this. And you cover it with this salty, yummy flavoring. It's, this is good. I really like this one. This one's at the top of my list so far. Let's see what's next in here. What about this fun box that's just been calling my name this whole time? Cream colon. That can't be right. <laughs> that can't be right. Hold on. I don't see this. Oh, here it is. No. Hmm. What are you? It doesn't have it on the snack description. Interesting. So this this guy is not on my guide of snacks. So I'm going to hold off on this to the end and then see what we're missing to see what this is and why it's not on here and why they don't have like an extra letter to explain it. Maybe I missed an email. We'll see. Okay. <clears throat> Pivoting. <laughs> we got this. Fried potato. What are you? Please be on the snack bag. <laughs> Okay, potato fries. So just straight up potato fries. Oh my gosh, they're like actual fries. These are kind of similar to the other ones, except I'm assuming non-curry flavor. They're just like the curry ones, just not crinkle cut and not curry. So the curry ones are better, frankly. So I think I gave the curry ones an eight. So this is a seven. That one's kind of meh. That's something you do when you're like drinking with friends or something and it's like one of those just snacks to fill you with food but you don't really care what they taste like. <clears throat> That's oddly specific, ain't it? Okay. <laughs> Ramen shop snacks. These look like the little, um, I want to say the little Chinese fried noodles that you get at like Panda Express. I don't know if they're like actually Chinese because it's Panda Express but uh, that's what I associate them with. So it looks like dried up ramen, which I'm a ramen lover, so I don't think they can go wrong here. Does that say a flavoring? Chicken flavor. Ooh, I love chicken. <laughs> chicken flavor. These are 10 out of 10. They taste like, if you've ever done this, um, it's not good, but uh, I've done it a lot because <laughs> I have a weird salty palate, I guess. But in middle school, I used to take the 
Top Ramen packets and I would crush them. And then I would add the seasoning packet on it and then just eat it with a spoon raw, like an animal. <laughs> um, and that tastes like this, but like better. Like this is what I wished Top Ramen had tasted like, but Top Ramen was always too salty because of the MSG, of course. But, and that's why you shouldn't eat it like that because it's meant to be with at least like three cups of water or something. And it's like, I drink no water ever. So, except now, because I'm trying to be better and take care of myself. Pause this video if you have not drank any water today and please drink a whole bottle of water. That's a challenge and a demand. <laughs> trying to train myself to like it more. <laughs> but this is great, 10 out of 10. Better than the onion snacks. Even though the onion snacks are 10 out of 10. I'm gonna probably down this whole packet after this video. Just saying. Just saying, thought you should know. <laughs> Next snack. Okay. Got this little, oh, it's so cute. It's a little cake, I think. <gasps> Uncle Perry. Uh, <laughs> Uncle Perry uh, rolls cake, roll cake. Uh, let's see. Doesn't have a flavor. Just says Uncle Perry's roll cake. So. I'll have to guess the flavor. It looks like vanilla or pudding. I don't know, but it looks really good. And I love rolled cake. This is so sad. <gasps> okay, look, look, here's the packaging, right? Beautiful. Like, what is that? Auntie Anne's, Little Debbie's style. And then we were rooting for you. <laughs> We were all rooting for you. <laughs> it's so sad. Okay, maybe maybe the flavor is better than the appearance. It's just like a sake egg roll. It's soft. It feels like soft cake, but I'm disappointed at the moment. Mm. Okay, redemption. <laughs> this one's good. I've mentioned in the past how boxy box snacks, any kind of pastry of any sort. It's just dry and crumbly, like a freezer corn dog. That's my specific example that I'm gonna continue using. This is the opposite. This is moist and flavorful. It is pretty much a vanilla cake, which with coconut maybe? I can't tell, but it's very good. Um, it's kind of like the hostess, not the hostess, the little Debbie's cakes, but this one's better, like a lot better. Like this one's got like, it's sweet and it tastes good. 10 out of 10, sweet. That one was, whoo, really deceived me there. Really had me on my edge because I was like, this is disappointing looking, but don't judge a book by its cover, folks. Okay, I got these, Constellation. Um, I don't ever know if this is Choco or Cocoa. I'm gonna say Cocoa because it feels better. <laughs> cocoa cookies, but these look so cute. Okay, it looks like a cookie with like little chocolate and it's got a constellation on it. Oh, I hope I get, I hope I get cancer because I'm, no, that's a weird saying. Don't say that. Uh, I hope I get the cancer con constellation. I do not want disease. We're gonna ignore what I said there. Uh, I am a uh, cancer sign, cancer sign. There we go. I want the cancer sign because I am a cancer sign. If you can't tell by my, emotional awkwardness that's who i am also because i did a birthday video in july and so obvious okay there we go what i get what i get i love mystery packages i'm too much of a child sagittarius bummer my friend's a sagittarius she says it's the best sign she's probably right <laughs> she knows a lot more about constellations than i do I don't know about all that magic stuff. Just kidding, it's not magic. Maybe, I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if you're a, con what is it called? An astrological person, but it's really cute still. It's got chocolate and it's got a little constellation sign and it's like a little cat with a ball. That's so cute, it's, it's really cute and I guarantee it's gonna be good. The biscuit's like a normal cracker. So it's like if you put a Ritz cracker on a lot of yummy chocolate. The chocolate's really good. The cracker is like kind of soggy and weird. I don't like it. I don't like the cracker. Could do without the cracker. Love the cute design and packaging. So I'll give it a seven out of 10. I'm gonna count for that, but the taste isn't, 
isn't great. I mean, you get chocolate. And who doesn't like chocolate? But next snack. Let's see. What are these? Mochi taro. Okay. The saltiness of the fried mochi treat. So it doesn't say flavor. It just says salty fried mochi. Also, here's the packaging. Really cute. <gasps> There's a little dog in the back. Oh. I need to sidetrack so easily. And try not to crush them. I feel like I've had these before. Ooh, a little crunchy fried mochi snack. I've had these before. They're kind of greasy. I like it better with a flavoring on it. I think I've had this, but with an actual flavoring, like this is plain. Similar to the fries. The flavored version is better. So I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10 also. Because it's, it's good. I'm going to eat it, of course. But I like a flavoring on it. Okay, here we go. Here's this cute, cute one. Oh, here we go. Don Don Yaki kimchi flavor. Kimchi flavor. I don't know how I feel about kimchi. I've never had it, but I like pickled things. Whoa. Okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. No one warned me. Okay. Wow. Those are really good. <laughs> so, right when I tasted it, I love spicy food, by the way, so this is probably, this is spicy. Um, you got hit with the pickled, kind of pickly flavor, and then spice, like pickled spice, which I think is what kimchi is, kind of, but I didn't know it was like, like real in your face with the flavor. I need and I need a second take on this. Okay, the second one I had had a lot less dust on it, so it was a lot more mild. But it was still really, really good. This one's probably a 9 out of 10. Yeah, it's good, but I've had better snacks. But these are still really, really good and definitely better. Definitely better than these ones. Like I said, the flavoring makes all the impact for me. I ain't no basic potato chip cow. Should I go into the... I will. I shall. Oh, it's paper. So this is another premium item. It is the Kit Kat Japanese cheesecake flavor. I love cheesecake and I'm intrigued by the notion of Kit Kat. Oh my God, do I put it in the oven? Stop. Wait, stop. Okay, so I can't read Japanese, but on the back it has a picture of it going in the oven. And I don't know if that's like a, just like a cute metaphor thing because it's cheesecake. Uh, and that you put it in the oven and it's like, oh, it's cheesecake. But there's some instructions here. Can you tell me, please? I don't read Japanese. Also, it's paper packaging and I've never seen a paper packaged Kit Kat before. But it's intriguing. So I'm just going to taste one just plain. I'm not going to put it in the oven because I am scared. And it doesn't have that on the front package, so... Oh, your guess is good as mine. <laughs> Easy break. Yeah, there's like some thick white chocolate on there. Just tastes like a normal everyday white chocolate Kit Kat. Which I love white chocolate. And I've talked about this before. It's a 7 out of 10 because I'm a little disappointed about how average it is. Don't get me wrong. I still really, really like white chocolate. I'm still going to eat the whole thing. And... Who knows, maybe this is like something that changes the game for the flavor of this Kit Kat. Or maybe it's just crazy and I'm making something big out of nothing. Uh, either way, they're still good. They're just not cheesecake flavor. Okay, next snack. Umaibo cheese. It's a crunchy corn stick flavor with cheese. I've had one similar to this, but it was like egg and something flavor. So this one's cheese flavor. I like the idea of it just being a stick, like a straight up stick is intriguing to me. I mean, it looks weird, but it tastes like a sweet cheese puff. Like we've all had cheese balls. This is a better puff version of this because it follows the same pattern as the other puffs. Japanese puffs are superior is what I found out. It just kind of tastes like a Cheeto puff. So seven out of 10. Yamato turtle crackers. These cheap little turtles, sort of. What are they flavored like? Sweet and salty, that's all it says. It's 
smells like nail polish. <laughs> Cute little packaging, but smells strange. But smells don't mean everything. See what I mean? They're like kind of like turtles, but like also like not really. That's just kind of how they're made. Another plain snack that kind of tastes like something I find in pub mix. It's less than a cheese one, so I want to say 6.5. Like it's good, but like similar to this one and similar to the um, potato stick. It's just average. And I want bomb diggity flavor, like the plum chips or the chicken ramen. I'm biased, but that's my opinion. <laughs> All right, there's three more snacks and hopefully we find out what this last one is. But this is a caramel taro. So just, just caramel peanut shaped caramel corn. A little too greasy for me. I don't get a whole lot of caramel flavor or peanut flavor in this, which is interesting because I feel like I should have both, right? But it's okay. I feel like this one's like a six. Like this one's probably the most disappointing because I love caramel. <laughs> this is the last one um that's not mystery guy over here <laughs> so this is pocky tasty flavor and that means milk chocolate milk chocolate coats a fragrant pretzel base pretzel i've never had a pocky with a pretzel base before made with cultured butter makes it extra creamy and indulgent seems kind of premium to me but this is the Pocky Pack. I am a big Pocky person. <laughs> uh, I grew up on Pocky practically. So it comes with two packs. Oh, there's a bunch in here. I feel like sometimes they chip you on the packaging. But this is cute. Look, it says share happiness. That's what I want to do. That's my goal. Oh, look, that's easy packaging. This is the best packaging. <laughs> Perhaps a bit of a waste of plastic, but you know. Oh, they're thick. Like, I don't know if you've had a normal Pocky, but like they're usually really thin. This is a big boy. <laughs> I'm unsophisticated. So this just tastes like normal Pocky, but thick. But I'll take it, 10 out of 10. <laughs> I just like Pocky. So it looks like the thing on here that doesn't match here is these are supposed to be coconut sable cookies. Okay. They're just like little rolls. They kind of remind me of like the pizza combos, but I'm assuming these are sweet. I don't know. The inside's soft and it just, it threw me off big time. I understand cream colon. <laughs> Cause the center is the cream. I thought this was like a, the cracker, but no, it's, it's that. That's what it is. Whoa, big purple potato flavor. Yeah, these are definitely not the same thing. It just felt so strange to eat because I wasn't expecting the center to be like so soft. So that threw me off big time. So I'd say about a seven and a half. Like they're good. And you get, if you love sweet potato or purple potato flavor, these are the bomb diggity for you. But it was just a strange experience for me. I'm traumatized, but it's okay. All right. So that's all the snacks like i said i think there's 17 in here um and i personally am gonna stick by my uh statement before i feel like i'm gonna eat more of these snacks um in totality than i and enjoy them than i do for boxy boxes boxy boxes feel so premium and sometimes i feel like i just can't eat them right <laughs> um because I'm such a simple gal and it just is strange to me because I mean there's a cultural difference obviously but I feel like these ones are more approachable for like an um, personally speaking as an American woman <laughs> this seems more approachable for an American audience um than the other boxy boxes so if you have different tastes and don't think you'd enjoy Japanese snacks I feel like this is a good starting point um, at least, at least for me, because I, I mean, I love Japanese snacks. So these are like the more mainstream Japanese snacks that I personally enjoy. And so for me, the tre Tokyo treat, I think it's like a dollar or two more expensive than the box soup, but this seems better to me than the boxy box. And that's subjective. And you can debate me down below if you 
disagree. If you like boxy pockets, let me know. That's my take. Uh, the best snack overall, ramen. I'm a simple gal. I like chicken ramen. Oh God, I spilled it. <laughs> I'll clean it up. I promise. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's my take on the box. Also, the box is super big and super nice. Just whoop. Um, so yeah, let me know. Let me know how you feel about it down below. Uh, and yeah, that's it for this week. I will see you all next week where I do something different, like jump off my couch. <laughs> Expectations, pivot. All right, uh, bye.